With our placings fully decided, we are now ready to begin. So remember, this is our setup. So we're going to be starting with Diddy Kong. I'm Diddy! <laughs> Diddy is the Mario of this game, which means he's not exactly exciting, but... You know. He's Diddy, so he's good. So like, if you're starting the game out, and you just finished using Tipsy or Tip Top, Diddy's a good transition to the more difficult turning. Because his turning isn't amazing, but it's solid. He gets the job done. Also, the game's frame rate really is like this on the console, I have tested. So any, like, thing that looks like frame skip is pretty accurate to my testing. Since I did play this game on console, and I wanted to stream it off my console, but my capture card and my TV hate each other, so... In the meantime, until I get a converter, we're doing this. So, when I say Diddy will be doing World 1, he'll be doing all of them. Uh, the Silver Coins, the regular races, the Battle Race, the TT Amulet, everything. Diddy will be doing all of the first world. Which is exciting because, well, hey, it's Diddy. He honestly, the voting process really did not like him at first because he got like nothing. But at the end, he got like this really cool influx of little mini votes, so it kind of helped him out. So here we're gonna start with the first race of the game, which is Ancient Egg. This is really easy. I'm probably gonna make this look free. Uh. But hey. Oh, there we go. That was a solid start. See, this course is pretty easy, especially if you know how to do this. I'm gonna get a boost, why not? Not like I need it. I think we're about to start lapping the AI soon, so that should be fun. Oh, the dinosaur hit me? Really? Huh. Never had that happen in practice runs, but hey. That was the slowest lap. <laughs> How unfortunate. Yeah, this game's pretty cool. Uh, I liked it a lot. I played this game a lot when I was a kid. I never unlocked TT when I was younger, I always thought he was too hard. I don't know why Diddy never talks. I mean, he's he's capable of full sentences, and Donkey Kong is too. Well, actually no, I don't think I've ever heard DK talk. He was kind of like, I don't know, how to explain DK, but... Like, the most I ever heard him say was like, okay. <laughs> That's what happened, yeah, the genie. The genie ruined his life. So that's the balloon. We're going to be getting lots of those. They're the main collectible of this game because it would not be a rare game if you didn't collect things. So like, it wouldn't be rare if you weren't collecting at some point. So here we have Fossil Canyon. This is like one of the few courses where the TT Ghost is actually ridiculously hard. This is my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but I always had trouble with TT on this track. But uh, shortcuts are pretty easy. One thing I should note that a lot of people don't know is that when you get a green boost, uh, you should always not press on the accelerator until you've gotten the full boost. So don't accelerate until you see the rainbow smoke, otherwise you'll get really bad green boosts and they won't do much. The game doesn't even tell you that actually, which is kind of weird. They do tell you that you can get the green boost, but they don't tell you to not press the accelerator. Because you'll lose speed if you do. Most of the first world's tracks are really easy. Uh, they're not really much to talk about here because these tracks are pretty simple. I know the next level has amazing music though, so I guess there's at least that. Also, I should note, 
that uh, any character that's not used here, I'll be using in Adventure 2. Because uh, I figure I should use all 10 characters in this game at some point. And I think a good way to show them off would be doing the harder mode with them. And the format for Adventure 2 is that the person who places last gets to do Whiz Pig, and the person that places first gets to do First World. Because I'm gonna reverse the formula, because they reverse every track in Adventure 2, so it's. <laughs> Thanks, Taj. For some reason, my mouse does not like this emulator very much. But, uh... No. It's tight. Okay, we don't have any drop frames. I think we're good for the rest of the stream. Easy. Alright, our next race is Jungle Falls. Uh, this level has my favorite song in World 1. I also like the turn you have to do. Right here. I messed that up. That's the first time I've done that in a while. So yeah, power sliding and the brake slide are both important. Where you use the B button to brake and sharpen your turn. You're gonna be doing that a lot as the heavier characters in the game. So, learning it with the middle weight is pretty nice. But most of them don't need to do it. Oh, I'm laughing, people. That's great. Look at that. There's Banjo. Somebody got a barrier. Whoa, shit. I think Tip Top tried to shoot me at the end there. Rude. We're, we're gonna start skipping that, because... Does anybody really want to watch that every time? I, I, don't, I don't really think they do. Alright, we come out here now with four balloons, and... Oh no, he's not going to accost me yet. Not yet. Tonka Horde. Hello, here. friend. Select your abracadabra. Can I help you? Bye-bye for now. So now... Ow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it also gets annoying, because it's a long cutscene. It's not like it's short. Nobody wants to watch a long cutscene after every race. So here's the last race of World 1, which is Hot Top Volcano. It's pretty easy. I mean, this is one of the easiest TT times to beat in the game, too, fun fact. Because whenever TT's times are on a plane or a hovercraft, you immediately have a free pass to just dominate it. Without question. This song's pretty cool, too. This track is pretty easy. And, uh, there's... You can even click with the pterodactyls. Also, an interesting unused element of this game was that you were actually going to be able to ride a pterodactyl at some point. It's in the beta, or beta codes of the game. And, uh, I know somebody has a video on it on YouTube. It's pretty neat. A fully functional pterodactyl. That was actually going to be a flying thing in this game. It never got finished, I guess. Ah, uh, that they thought three vehicles was enough. Who knows? Regardless, it is a pretty interesting unused element of the game. And, uh, I thought it'd be worth bringing up because I see a lot of the pterodactyls here, actually. So I guess even though they didn't use the pterodactyl mount, they did use them in this level as a background. I also remember liking this game a lot more than Mario Kart. And like, 
I think the big reason why is because there's more to look at in this game. Because in Mario Kart 64, like, everything's in 2D for some reason. Like, all the characters are in 2D texture. And, like, I don't know, the music's better in this game, I think. This is... I love Mario Kart 64, but this game I always played more. Here's the first boss of the game. His name is actually Tricky. So anybody that's played Star Fox Adventures and hated that little dinosaur jerk, I think they got his name from this game. So you can either blame or love this guy for it. Here's like the best song in the game that isn't the Whispig song. So uh, my advice for this guy is to just drive and shoot him with a rocket if you- oh god, he landed right on me. But uh, you'll probably pass this guy at some point, because he does slow down, and uh, you're never going to get caught up. He's never going to catch up to you, really. Especially not if you use the boosts on the track, so he's pretty easy. I mean, this is, after all, the first of two races with him, so... It'll obviously get harder the second time, but this time it's not so bad. Just drive. If you're playing a heavyweight character, you actually have to start power sliding up this thing, which does slow you down. And also the fact that it's a ramp means if you have really bad acceleration, like for instance if you are crunch, uh, you're going to lose a lot of speed in that area. So yeah, it's pretty bad. But uh, otherwise it's easy. Especially if you're a lightweight character, because they accelerate so good they don't lose any speed from the hill. You can fall off, by the way, which is amusing. I almost shot off right there, actually. <laughs> oh, and if you think it's over, you don't know rareware. Now go back and do it all again and collect shit. You must find eight from each level and win, and then come back to see me. If you weren't grabbing things, it wouldn't be a rare game. That's my theory, anyways. Is that they can't even keep the collecting out of their racing games. I've got something special for you. But I don't mind it. It's just, it's just something I, I've always theorized. It's just like the rare, rare fetish is basically collectibles. I'm almost positive that like one of the kinks in the development studio was a collectible. So silver coin challenges are pretty easy, uh, for the most part, depending on what track you're doing. They they can range from easy or hard. Uh, world 1s are pretty easy. They're not put anywhere really stupid, and uh, you can just get them while you're just driving on the track. Like, that's like a bunch of them already, and I haven't even taken a shortcut yet. I think we're about to get them all in the first lap, actually. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So while I'm here, I'm gonna try and show off. We're gonna get the key, too. Oh, no, Diddy! Not like that! Alright, I know, game. I think I can make this happen, though. I'm pretty confident that this course is easy enough to still win. No! Go! No. Oh wow, we actually gonna do it? I actually thought it was over right when I did that, but look at that. Never mind. We're good. That was pretty easy. Yeah, I know. Gonna give me the balloon. Oh, we also unlocked the battle stage. I should mention that every area has one of these. The cute little mini games. We're gonna play that at the end. Yeah, they do. I think they do actually have an angry face. That's actually something they did. Alright, Fossil Canyon. Now, how hard are these silver coins? I don't actually remember them here, so. They have to miss that booster to get that one, unfortunately, but it's not a big deal. Oh, he didn't grab it! Dang it, did he? Alright, we'll have to get that one next lap. Not a big deal. 
It's nice of them to put on a shortcut for a change, though. They usually put them in areas where you have to lose speed to get them, but it's nice seeing a silver quarry and on a shortcut for once. So yeah, Diddy's pretty remarkably average. If you couldn't tell from how I'm playing him, it's not really exciting. There's no real crazy turns or stuff I have to do. I don't really have to compensate for anything. Because he's just good. He's just solid. He's a good pick if you're just starting the game and you're a bit comfortable with kart races. Like, if you've played a racing game before and you just want to learn the basics of this game, Diddy's a good start. Timber's also decent. Although he's a bit faster than Diddy and sacrifices a bit of handling and acceleration for it. But they're both essentially the Mario and Luigi of this game. That was the horn, by the way. You can honk that if you just start to see it. Now we're gonna do Jungle Falls. No. Easy, easy. Jungle Falls! Easy, 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 easy. Oh god. Oh no, this is, this is a full adventure mode playthrough. I've decided that I'm gonna do that. I've been playing this game a lot recently, and it's a lot of fun. This is probably the best kart racer on the N64. Not gonna lie. Alright, we're gonna get both of these coins right now. Done! Oh, this song is so good. Let's try a little- oh. oh, I was gonna try and do a speed trick and I failed. Oh no, it's not gonna take me as long as Paper Mario 1 did. I'm still embarrassed about that. Half a year later, he finally finishes it. That was because free time kept getting really mu muddy, and my motivation was really shot. But now that I'm so, like, happy with how I stream and how I do stuff, I can actually reliably do the finish. Country dinosaurs. I don't know how rich that is. Yeah! It's weird! It's bizarre. Dude, Rare thought of the greatest things though. Alright, I think you get a uh, a balloon if you do this, so we're gonna do that. Alright, this is the battle game. It's Fire Mountain, what do you think you'd do here? If you said race through a volcano, well, don't be an idiot, you obviously hatch dinosaur eggs. Duh. Doesn't Fire Mountain tell you everything you need to know? So uh, yeah, you just wait for your eggs to hatch, you can go steal other people's eggs, and they can steal yours too. But, hey! So we're absolutely back to square zero here because, oh wait, tips up. Let me go yank that from them. First person to hatch three of these, uh, wins. I don't know if there's like an individual timer on them or anything, but uh, I'm hoping mine hatches soon, that'd be really cool. Oh yeah, it did. There we go. They can't take an egg if it's hatched, by the way. So once it's hatched, that's just a point that they can't take from you. I'm already in a pretty considerable lead. You know, one egg is a pretty good lead to be in. Oh no! Drumstick! This game is mostly just long. Oh no, I hate hitting walls with the plane! Oh no. no! I gotta take his other egg. Here! Oh no, Tip Tup said two. Dang! Where's Banjo's egg? I gotta get it. 
Wait, did he take mine? Oh no, he did. It's because he's so much faster than me in the plane. Dude, he's so slow in the plane! This is intense. Man, Banjo is just having absolutely no luck. Like, absolutely none. Oh no, tip top. Don't be like this. Not like this. Alright, we got it. I think this, I think we're good. I'm gonna fly around here and make sure nobody does anything. Please? Yes! Okay. Oh. Jeez. You also get a piece of the TT amulet when you do these. That's important for the late game. Like, the very late game. Early on, it's like, why does it even matter? But later down the line, it will all become clear. He didn't really give me a balloon either. I thought he would. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Well, I know how to what, how to get a balloon, so... You come out here and immediately... I challenge you to a race. Look at you. you ready for the freest race in the game? If you power slide, you're gonna gain a million miles per hour and you're eventually gonna start lapping them. Especially if you're like a heavyweight. So I'm just gonna. See if we can't start lapping him right now. I'm used to doing this with heavyweights, so I'm a little off with Diddy. Jesus. I'm a little off with Diddy because his turning is kinda loose. Come on, we gotta lap him. I have to see him. I wanna see him from behind. Come on, we gotta do it. Oh. I think it's not happening. Oh well. Hello, friend. Bye -bye. To do it with Diddy, you gotta be perfect, because he's not super fast. Alright. Dude, this soundtrack is godlike. I know, it's hard to pick like a favorite set of tracks because the whole game is just nice. But uh, that's what I had as a playlist before I started. But uh... Oh yeah, David Wise. This is true. David Wise did this game. Oh, there's a coin over there. Of course there is. They put a coin where the boost wasn't. Oh, whoa. that looked scary. Oh god. Oh man. Coins? Yes. Is there one over here? Aha! I knew it. There we go, we're done. Barrel rolling does increase your speed, by the way. Fun fact, Conquer has the best barrel roll. Why? I have no idea. Maybe it's because they knew that you'd want to drink out of a barrel when you saw what Rare does to Conquer in like 10 years. They were aware, baby. They predicted the future. They saw a young Conquer and they're like, oh no. I'm just assuming that's why everybody voted for Conquer. It's because, like, they saw that. I don't know what was that for, the HTC Vive or something like that? That Conquer thing for like Microsoft's HoloLens, and they're like, oh my god. What happened? What happened here? And oh! I don't think you're ever gonna go as low as Young Conquer, man. I don't think that's ever happened. Nobody's life can be that disappointing. Like, Young Conquer is just sad. I'm checking the uh, stream again, making sure everything's good. Absolutely no drop frame. Baby Conquer. I, was it Baby Conquer or Young Conquer or whatever? It looks like a monstrosity. Baby Conquer. Alright. Fantastic! If you can beat me again, I'll give you a special prize. So this guy. It was like, yeah, I'm- you thought I was hard before. No, but... But he's like, I'm gonna... 
Uh, now this race gets kind of difficult. He's actually a bit faster, and he has all these killers falling on you now. Because what else would he do? Be original? Look at him go, too. He's pretty quick. And now the boulder's coming down. But... Oh, man. This race is intense. I remember having my mind blown. I was like, when could you ever do this in Mario Kart, man? Would you ever race a Triceratops up a mountain in Mario Kart? I think not. That's how you sell this game to investors, man. He's like, what, what other racing game can you do all this stuff in? I don't think any of them. I'm hearing him right behind me, but I'm not nervous. He's not gonna gain on me, he's too slow. Oh, I tried to get that. I tried to get that! It would have been cool! This music is intense, too. I think this is one of the few racing games that has like a really fleshed out single player. And I think that's awesome. Because that's a really unique thing to have. Got him. Yeah, Mario Kart DS had that too, and they were pretty cool there. Well, they were, they were interesting anyways. Now, try the trophy challenge. See you later. Yeah, like the single player of this game is the best part. That's like so weird. Who would ever say that about a Mario Kart game? Nobody would. But like Diddy Kong Racing? Hell yeah. Well, okay, that's World 1 done, actually, that's it. Everybody give your round of applause to Diddy Kong. Oh, wait, what? Oh, hang on! Hang on! This dude just assaulted me. You know, I wonder what this would look like to an outsider. Like, a genie just puts a monkey in a hovercraft and asks him to race it. Can you imagine if somebody just saw that? Wouldn't that be like animal abuse? I'm almost positive. They'd be like, what the heck is going on here? See with the hovercraft? Yeah, man. I think the best part about the vehicles in this game was just that it wasn't something, like, that every game did. No game did this before this game, to my knowledge, in this way. Like, this game has so much variety. It's so incredible. I love it. Final lap. It's the final lap. Oh my god. <laughs> 